Hello, my friends. Today we're going to be assisting another anti Eva game. The last one was really great with amazing rounds. And today we're going to have some amazing matches. So I really hope that you guys stick with me today. Get something to eat, get something to drink, get something to drink because today is going to be epic. I just came home from work an hour ago and I'm ready as always to give you guys some good content. Soon the match will start and hopefully we will get a good event. Now, I've taken notes of uh, the criticism that I had yesterday with the, uh, I mean, the last time with the camera movement. So I will take these into account and also switching teams to see who's attacking. I will also do that. So don't worry, guys. I'm taking all your criticism into, uh, your, into account to give you guys the best possible experience possible. Oh boy, what a day, what a day. It's been a good day of work. Hi, everyone who's watching from the VOD. Hi, 2 die 4 Hi, everyone who's watching from YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Whatever it is, day or night, or whatever, whatever time it is in your country, just welcome to the stream. Don't forget, this is the place when you want to see, when you want to go to see English commentary for the entire tournament. So if you haven't already, click that follow button because I'll be hosting the entire event. So uh, the actual match is going to start in around one minute. So get ready, guys. This is your moment. Get something to eat. Get something to drink. I, of course, cannot afford to be able to drink because I cannot make any stupid noises on stream. But, but uh, yeah, get something to drink. Get something to uh, pass the time. Because today we got uh, two good teams of uh, Leo, Leo, Lex, Leo Gard and Gachi Posik. Again, excuse me if I'm pronouncing your names wrong. I'm not a native, a native Russian speaker. And Groza and SK... SKR uh, 2228. Um, As you can see, these guys are all uh, the maximum level. They've all played on infantry. So even though they have a KD of 1.7, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. We can still have some great matches today, folks. And that's the whole point of putting people who have equal um, KDs against each other. So we'll have a great moment. Now, I think right now we're missing uh, Leo. No, wait, Leo Gun is here. Groza is here. Um, Gachi Posik. Uh, yeah, I think we're missing Gachi Posik. I think we're waiting on him. But yeah, we got Inforce Groza. And uh, what is that? Inforce SKR 228. These guys, I feel like they're going to make an amazing team. Hopefully they got some strategies down. They're gonna need a lot of strategies today if they wanna win. Now, uh, for those that have seen uh, the last event, I'm just gonna keep the camera in the middle and explain you guys. The last event, uh, there was good strategies against uh, Kringo, Mango, and Gilei. They were absolutely unable to hold uh, Camp Gibraltar against uh, No Skill, and a name I cannot pronounce. And uh, what was it again? I don't wanna leave out his name. What was it again? I really don't want to leave out his name. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, Lia, uh, wait, it, actually not a his, it, it's a she, it's uh, Liyama. So yeah, um, Liyama and those skill, they made a good team. They absolutely uh, wrecked uh, apart uh, Cream Go, Mango and Gilei on every map apart from one single round where they did good and actually held them off and actually won. And I forgot I had the stream of my Russian friend active. <laughs> so if you heard a double voice a second. But yeah, what happened in the last round was they essentially came to the both sides, meaning here and here. And they basically just split up. And whenever one got killed, they immediately lost the uh, superior numbers. So they immediately lost the strategic advantage. So today, I hope they're not going to replicate the same mistakes that they did last time. I hope that if they watched uh, the uh, previous anti-EVA uh, match, that they will not do the same mistake and actually uh, group up to defend if there's, uh, you know, one person. So they kill the one guy who's attacking from, the, or from here, and then they just uh, swoon back around and kill the other guy if they're not grouped up. Looks like we got uh, five more minutes. So five more minutes. Uh, who from no skill it was? Uh, let me quickly look up his name. I don't want to mispronounce his name. It was um, M E P G L U H Y C. 
So MEP, MEP Julius, something like that. I, like I said, I cannot pronounce it, but it was that guy. I'll just type it in chat, I guess. If you guys want, I'll type it in chat. Uh, there was no skill. No skill. That, that was he who uh, played with uh, Liama. And together, they did a fantastic team. Strategy-wise, they had the upper hand. And that's what got them the victory last time. So again, five more minutes until uh, every player is ready. Looks like Gachi uh, Posik, again, sorry for mispronouncing names, is having some trouble because we're not seeing him right now. Again, folks, get something to, get something to eat, get something to drink. It's going to be one hour of fun and absolute amazing matches and strategy. We're going to see lots of stuff, so get something to do so to uh, fill your stomach right now because it's going to be a little while. And I hope you enjoy dearly the time you have with me if you're not already... Uh, follow. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good way to pass time. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I I just I repaired this uh, this thing the other day on my other stream. I repaired this, so you know, if you like what you see, consider following. It helps me, helps out the channel, and also helps out uh, the game and the event because it gets popularity out for the event itself. So. Please do that. Please consider doing that if you haven't done already. I will really appreciate it. Plus, you get a fancy little notification from Jean-Claude Van Damme on your stream. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, again, just uh, three more minutes. I really hope that he does come. If he does not come, uh, they will uh, lose. I fear that they will get disqualified because... Uh, one guy was not there in time. I really hope that he is. Otherwise, it will be uh, the second uh, match event that I covered that will be a failure. Last time, because if you watched the, la the latest video, because um, the server crashed and uh, they got a uh, technical victory, even though no match happened. And of course, since, it, since it's the tournament rules, you cannot uh, restart it. It was really a shame. Was, I was really hoping to do some proper EVA matches, but don't worry, folks. I got... Uh, stuff plan for the next big uh, EVA match, whenever that is again. I have some stuff planned in my head, don't worry guys. Oh, he's here folks, he's here, Gachi Posik. Welcome him everybody, welcome him. Gachi Posik made on time, we're gonna have a great match today here folks. It's gonna be great. Boy, I can't wait. Are you guys excited? I'm sure, I'm certainly am excited. Ah, oh, it's so nice to see him. Of course, we have uh, Yutka and um, Cream Go Mango spectating. Cream Go Mango, if you're Russian, uh, I will have his link, of course, in the description. And uh, as part of a good partnership, he also has mine in his description. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you want to see a stream in Russian, he streams right now in Russian. If you want to see that. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. And we'll uh, do this thing together. All right, he is here, folks. So again, the ping for those who say um, that people have a uh, different ping and that it would not be fair, look at their ping. So SKA has 32. Uh, Grossa, uh, again, sorry for mispronouncing names, uh, has 14. Lex Leogard has 4. I mean, 4. Wow, that's a really good ping. Um, Gachi Posik has uh, 54. So it's very even ping-wise. It can be uh, nothing wrong. They actually gave the, yeah they gave the go yeah sorry about that alright they gave the go so it looks like they're spinning up on both teams one guy got picked apart needs to go revive him right away revived him there you go they did not shoot back so they're both on two sides they're gonna go back to the other side since we are playing on the uh, attackers I'm gonna have the other team show up. One kill by excellent nate four by SKR. And the other one picked apart. So again, be careful to not die alone. If you do die alone, you will penalize your team because you have 50% less firepower. And the only the way, one of the ways to win is by suppressing the enemy. So right now they're going to respawn. I'm just going to keep the camera here, folks. I've taken the criticism from last time. I'm going to move the camera less, keep it more static. Uh, put the camera, uh, the name tags on the actual attackers. I'm I want to do a next on stream for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the efforts that I do for you guys. Right, they threw uh, two nades. 
that's four nades, or maybe not three nades. They only have four, remember? They only have basic unlocks, so those who don't know, they only have, well, uh, Gachi Pussy getting killed, Gossa uh, also getting killed. Whoa, 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 shoot back, shoot back, shoot back! Oh, why did he not shoot back? You could have shot back at him and get it and got him. Oh, that was really sad. If you just stopped and shot at him, he could have actually got him. That was a waste. Ah, oh, that is so ah, oh, that is so sad to see. But like I was gonna say, they only have basic unlocks. That means a limited sprint, so you cannot just jump around everywhere and be like invincible. Um, they only have the shotgun and the defib. Nades being thrown. Trying to get a lucky nade throw before going in. Unfortunately, it's not looking like it's gonna be the case. Ah, uh, Le Lex Leogard getting picked apart. Hopefully, maybe he can... Oh, he's throwing a nade! He's throwing a nade! Ah, uh, the nade got him. So now he's alone again. He got picked apart. They're gonna charge in. Nice shooting by Lex Leogard. A crouch firing. Trying to suppress them. Just, he spawned back on his squad leader, so now they're gonna try to have the tactical advantage. One guy is gonna try to keep him busy, and the other guy is gonna try to go around. But careful, there's one guy behind him. He did not anticipate that. So now he needs to rush in. Now it's all gonna depend on Lex Leogard. What's he gonna do? He's gonna revive his teammate. Oh my god! <laughs> the slow reaction time. Did you guys see that? He just looked at him. <laughs> he just looked at him. Come on. He. I mean, did the gun? Did his gun? Was his gun out of ammo or something? Probably, probably his gun was out of ammo or something because he just looked at him and he don't even shoot at him. Come on, guys, we uh, we gotta believe in um, in <laughs> in Gachi Posik and uh, Lex Leogard. We gotta believe in these guys. We wanna see them actually take the flag. We wanna have a nice little uh, fair round. Or if Nate unfortunately kills Lex Leogard, is gonna be revived. Both teams are nicely split on both sides. Nate's been thrown! Closely hitting! Closely Lex Leogard charging in. Suppressing him. Gachi Posik charging in, out of cover, into a hail of bullets. That was a very bad idea, and now he's a bit stuck, he gets one of them. Nice, he dodges it. Shoot back! Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, he could have maybe made him use all his ammo. So now they're gonna wait to spawn with uh, each other. There you go, you can see them. We're gonna keep the camera here, of course, so we get a good tactical view. Gachi Posik and Lex Leogard next to each other, coming in on both sides, it looks like. Nades being thrown. Hurting him, but he has a med pack. Uh, Lex Leogard being unfortunate. Okay, now, uh, from my opinion, what they should try to do is uh, rush uh, two people on one side and hope that they can get the numerical advantage. That's what I would do if I was uh, talking right now with my squad lead. I would be like, well, uh, I would be like talking to my squad leader. I would say, uh, well, this is not working out. We're attacking from both sides. They're both on both sides. So let's uh, let's just suppress them. And that looks like what they're going to do now, actually. Unfortunately, he's throwing nades. Please get him. Revive him quick. He's going to get shot in the back. Hiding behind boxes. Oh, Gachi Pussy put up a valiant fight. Lex Leopard is gonna have to wait on Gachi Putti to spawn back on him. Ah, oh, nice accuracy from SKR 228, putting a round straight into uh, Lex Leopard and putting him down. So now Gachi Putti is back alone. He has to wait on his teammate. Please don't charge in alone. You will get yourself killed and penalize your team. Oh, that nade was very close. He used both his nades. I don't know what he's... What is he doing? Gachi Pussy, you need to 
stand back and group up with your squad lead. You cannot just rush in an open field. At least now he's getting revived. The Lex Leo got, got killed, and your guy and Gachi Pussy got also killed, unfortunately. Uh, they actually, I don't know if you guys catch that, but they actually went to, st to steal the uh, Krylov. His teammate is gonna try to do the same. He's gonna try to steal the Krylov because the Krylov is a better gun in most players' opinion. Alright, they're coming back at it. Gachi Pussy spawning on Lexiopod. They're gonna try an alternate strategy. They probably talk to each other. It looks like maybe Gachi Pussy is gonna try to keep them busy by shooting at them. He's gonna try to flank him. Looks like it's gonna work. Please. He has an excellent opportunity here. Yes, the flank. The flank now charge in and kill him from the back. Yes, excellent, guys. Excellent. Excellent. That's what we're talking about here, folks. Excellent strategy. One keeping him busy and one going around. Excellent show of strategy, guys, here. That's what, but that's what we're here to see. Good job, guys. Now, the question is, can they hold the flag? At least they uh, uncap, decap the flag. They come in on the side. Oh, the nade was unfortunately reviving quick. No more nades being thrown. Very close. Move, move. Oh, the nade got him. Why does he have a sniper kit? Well, he killed him with a sniper kit, so it was a really good uh, kill. But actually capped the flag, folks. They actually capped the flag, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. They can respawn here. Maybe now they do not. They cannot lose the tactical, uh, tactical advantage. They need to absolutely keep them off the flag. Where is Gachi Posik? Where is he? He needs to get on the flag. Where is he? Where is his teammate? Gachi Posik, what are you doing? Oh, it... Gachi Posik, what are you doing? There's no one here. Both both enemies are here. They're gonna decap your flag. And also, uh, thanks to Die for for the name uh, for correcting me on the name. It's uh, it's not S K R S Square. I could have not really guessed that, but thank you. Gachi Posik, no. Well, um, I mean, I guess they could still um try to come from the flank. Let's say get lucky. And looks like actually one got killed by Nade. Very lucky for Excellent. Lex Leogard saving the flag. Now they both need to get on it and decap it quickly. But I fear that the time is going to run out pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen. But they got the flag. Oh no! Can't you see getting killed by a random Nade? That's very bad. Now they're, now they're pinned down. Excellent, the two versus one, one going on the other side. One keeping him busy, one shooting at him. Come on, you cannot miss this. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh. oh, I could have easily had him now. He spawns back on his squad leader and they're gonna decap the flag. And that is gonna be it, unless they manage to respawn on it in time, which I doubt. Oh, Gachi Postic managed to respawn on time. What's he gonna do? Swing a nade, which is gonna hit uh, nearly damaging him. But now he's in the open and it's a very bad spot. But Lex Leogard is coming from behind. Oh, he uh, shot a little bit too late. Uh, well, it was an interesting fight uh, for the flag, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, they lost the first round. Um, Square and, uh, geez, I cannot remember those names, and, Gr and Grossa, they actually, uh, sorry again if I mispronounce your names, they actually uh, won the first ones by, uh, the first one by holding the flag. So, you know, they lost, um, Gachi Pussy and, uh, <laughs> and Lex Lyoga, they lost, but they showed an excellent uh, show of strategy. Now, if they can use the same strategies and show some creativity with the strategies, just like they did right now, in keeping the enemy busy with one guy and coming around the flank, just like they did, and that what got them the flag, um, then hopefully, maybe on server landing, they can do better. So again, folks, that's one point for um, uh, Grossa and uh, Square. Looks like, yeah, we're going back on Camp G, folks. When we were going back on Camp G, uh, it was uh, just a little bit of a mistake because we're actually uh, switching sides to keep it fair. We have uh, two matches uh, per map, and so uh, everything is fair. 
So if one team is better in defense than offense, they also have a shot on the same. They also have a chance on the same map to do good. So hopefully, um, uh, they are better on the defense. We will see. But they need to be creative with their strategies. Again, folks, strategies is everything. You cannot just hope to uh, run in open fields in without cover and hope to stay alive. You need to have one guy keeping them busy. Hopefully, uh, you keep both players busy. And then you have one guy, just like we saw earlier, uh, coming from the flank, and then you kill them. And that was excellent to see. That was wonderful to see. Again, thanks. Thank you to all who's watching right now. If you got the VOD on YouTube and right now live on Twitch, if you haven't already followed, hit the big old follow button because I'll be covering the entire event, the anti Eva and the Eva matches itself. And I hope you enjoy my company here today on this lovely um, uh, Monday. Whatever it is, uh, another day you're watching or the evening or the morning, I hope you're having a lovely time. So again, folks, um, I think Yutka and Cream Go Mango are judges. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Cream Go Mango is a judge. So that is the reason why he's here. Also, he's streaming on in Russian on his site. So that's why. All right, the switch back. And uh, one uh, Square has uh, said that he was good to go. So hopefully the map is going to reset in a few seconds. The command uh, to ask people if they're ready has been given. They said yes. Oh, that's interesting. Gachi Pusik is actually going to use the support. That's very interesting. You know what, folks? Because um, with the last anti Eva, we saw uh, we saw Gilei being really bad with the assault kit, but as soon as he pulled out the, ba the Bayanchi from the support class, he did really well. He got lots of kills and actually did good with his team. Oh, that was unfortunate. So hopefully now they can have a different strategy. You can see he's on top right now with the Bayanchi. He's gonna open him up from the back. Oh, getting killed unfortunately, got one of them. They're gonna revive each other. Come on, he needs to contest it. Nades have been thrown, barely missing. He's charging in, he doesn't want them to cap this flag. He wants to contest it. Spawn, squad, um, spawn, uh, squad member spawned just in time, but he got unfortunately killed right away. Both teams lost one member, and he got shotgunned in a quick shot. It was unfortunate. Grosser, uh, Grosser and Square are gonna. Take this flag and they're gonna rush as quickly as possible into the second section of country Borto, meaning uh, the middle. And we can see one squad member went over here, Gachi Posik. And we're gonna position ourselves here because this is where the action is gonna happen. They're gonna charge up. Gachi Posik is gonna try to contest it, it's gonna wait in the squad lead. They're both down below. They need to get on this quick. Do something. Unfortunately, shot a bit too late, but he got one. He got one. Shoot the other. Shoot the other quick. Oh my god, he missed. He missed. He missed. That was bad. He's gonna charge him with the pistol. In a desperate attempt to contest the flag, but it wasn't enough. Uh, if only he would have, you know, just relaxed, constantly his shots, he could have gotten the, the second guy. And he could have actually uh, secured the flag again. But unfortunately, now we're down to the last part. They have to hold here, folks. Well, my ping just uh, randomly uh, tripping. Okay, that was uh, that was weird. Looks like my ping is back to normal anyway. Uh, we got uh, Lex Leopard holding the ground. And Gachi Pussy got tried to charge up ahead, but unfortunately got killed. Yeah, the pink seems to be stable again. Uh, he's pulled back the uh, Bayanshi. He's pulled the Bayanshi back out. He's going to try to suppress them. That is Gachi Pussy. Now they absolutely have to hold this. 
You're actually supposed to try to charge ahead. Getting shot in the back, that was not good. You cannot lose this flag. You have to assist your squad lead. Now Lex, uh, Leo, uh, Leo Guard is going to be a bit, in a bit of a trouble against Grossa and the Square. I don't know where he where he's, he is. He seems to be just chilling out, getting a vantage point and possibly a spotting. Uh, I was hoping we could have seen uh, the first knife in this competition. That could have been really great to see. We'll try to revive his teammate. Hopefully, we're gonna try to contest it. They're up above. He's gonna shoot one down. With his pull your shotgun out. Pull the shotgun out. Pull the shotgun out. No, not the nade. That nade is gonna overshoot it. That second nade, though, is landing very good. Almost killing Grosa. Got there just in the nick of got out of there just in the nick of time. One guy is going behind. Again, one guy keeping them busy. One guy going around the flank. Excellent, folks. Excellent. That's what we, that's what we want to see, folks. One guy keeping them busy and one guy going in the flanks. That is the key to success. They secured this flag for a little while longer. And hopefully they will at least keep their honor in keep having kept the last flag. Though uh, the, the win will ultimately be decided on the tickets left. If I'm not mistaken. Square on the low ground, uh, Grossa on the upper ground. I'm going above, trying to get a vantage level. A nice kill by Lex Lilgard. What is Gachiposa gonna do? He's gonna take cover from the nades that uh, Square is throwing. He threw one in that direction, that means. Oh no, he knows he's there. He knows definitely knows he's there. Now Lex uh, Liugan has his eye on the two, on the enemy team. He's gonna probably wait for a good occasion, but right now they're doing a good defense. They're scared to move up, but they should move up. Actually, now they're gonna move up now that the teammate got killed by Nade, by a very good throw Nades. They're gonna try to move up. He's gonna try to revive his teammate. He's reloaded, he's gonna shoot again. Using single fire. Again, one's gonna keep him busy, but unfortunately got killed. One's gonna go behind. Killing Square. And Grosa is gonna try to shoot him down. He missed, unfortunately, all the shotgun. He tried to pull out the knife there. Well, that, have, that could have been really cool if he actually got out the knife. But now they're in a danger because now there's the last flag. And this flag is a little bit slower than the other one. But it is the last flag. They cannot lose it. Oh, and actually, it was slower because he was on the flag. So they can't, uh, only counted as being one uh, taking the flag. But it got killed. Catchy Posse needs to get in right now. He is right here. Uh, well, that's a GG, folks. That's two points for uh, Grossa and Square having uh, taken a swift victory, even though uh, Lex Leogard and Gashiposik have shown some good strategies during these two battles. But unfortunately, they still lost in the end. But it was a good fight. Now, um, I'm not sure if there's any more because they already uh, got. Uh, two points, but there's probably gonna be two more, and we're gonna see. Because in the worst case, it could be a draw. All right, looks like we're taking a little bit of a break for two minutes. So again, folks, if you're eating, if you're uh, drinking, go refill your bottles, go get something else to eat, because we're gonna see the second part in a little while. I hope you're enjoying my company, by the way. If you are, feel free to hit that follow button because I will be hosting the entirety of the event.
Now it looks like we're going to fall of Berlin. We haven't seen this map before in Anti Eva. I don't believe we have. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe we have seen that one on Anti Eva. We've seen that one on Eva, but not on actual Anti Eva. So fall of Berlin, multiple ways to get in. Will they know how to master the ways and how to cover them? That is another question. Fall of Berlin, of course, being a beautiful map. If we take a bird's eye view, we can see that there are two ways to get in. One from the side, which involves a uh, hill. Right here. Now you cannot go up, but you can go uh, up on this side and go down this side. So you need to be careful. They need to defend this point, this position right here. Again, folks, you have a break of two minutes. It's mentioned in the chat. So if you want to go refuel your uh, drink or whatever, go do it now. Meanwhile, I'm just going to explain you guys the rest that um, Gachi Posik and Lee Lexi Ogard lost uh, two matches. Uh, two rounds on Camp Gibraltar with uh, sides switched. So that's unfortunate. Uh, that means that Grosa and Square have got two points. This is the second map, which will also have two rounds. And hopefully, uh, maybe it will be a draw with uh, Gachi Posik. I mean, it will not be a draw because in the end, it is precise. So it will uh, count the tickets in each round. Gachi Posik having disconnected. I hope he doesn't leave us. It will be sad to end this event so soon. Now he's back. He's just a little bit of a trouble, it seems like. He's probably requested a break. So that's uh, understandable. Actually, there is a very, full, there is a very beautiful view from, to watch the tournament from. But yeah, two, uh, two ways. I mean, I guess you could count this one as a third one. It can go from above. They need to keep an eye, keep the sp keep spotting the enemy. That is vital. So the teammate has enough time to react. For example, if two are going this way, the teammate is gonna be here. Is gonna need his other teammate on this side to be spotting them, so he can rush to this side and help them, and help his teammate. Again, folks, uh, one minute remaining in the little break. I feel like we're going to, yes, exactly, one minute. I feel like we're going to see some amazing action on Fall of Berlin. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. It certainly is different from Camp Gibraltar, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the uh, teams. Looks like uh, Grossa and Square both, uh, for now at least, went with the... Um, Assault Rifle, now uh, Gachi Pussyk has the uh, Sniper Kit. Maybe he's going to switch up back out. I mean, I, I would do that if I was him, because you cannot really do much with a Sniper Rifle in a 2v2. At least that's my opinion. Everyone has their own opinion, of course, and we all should respect that. But who knows, maybe he will surprise us and absolutely destroy... <laughs> Grossa and uh, Square, we will see. The players have been asked if they're ready. It's beautiful to see these two players together. They've said yes, so it looks like we're going to go live. Both teams are ready. Live has been given. Of course, start command has been given. Here we go, folks. Now, I'm going to see the uh, pack team because they're the ones attacking. Force Groza for not being alone. There you go, squad mate spawned on him. I do not see um, uh, Lex Leogard's teammate. I don't know where he is. 
But they're both charging in right now. Did they even notice? Why did they do that? They just attracted the attention of them sooner than they should have. I don't know what uh, Gachi Pusik was trying to do with the uh, ADX kit that was unfortunate. I think he was putting out his knife or some C4, some ADX. But anyway, now um, Inforce uh, Square and Inforce Kugosa are gonna charge into the second flag, the middle of uh, Fall of Berlin. It's gonna try to pick apart one of them. Ah, oh, Groves are nearly getting killed in trying to take out in trying to taking out uh, Gachiposi, but they're gonna heal up really quick. Coming from behind, the knife, the knife, he knifed him, he knifed him, excellent. Oh, he put, though he missed uh, two knives, that was unfortunate, but if he would have knifed both, then honestly, Gachi Posse, you deserve respect. Because <laughs> knifing in force members is pretty cool. Now, uh, Lex, uh, Leo Guard, I don't know what he's doing. Teammate came back, Gachi Posse trying to contest it. Oh no! Oh no! He ran out of ammo. They lost the middle flag. I think they they lo they're losing morale right now. I think that's what's happening. They're losing morale. They're not really focusing because you saw they did not really focus their shots. They need some strategies. They need to focus. I really want them to uh, contest them. I really want them to try to hold up to the enforced team. But now we're on the last flag of fall of Berlin. And going in with the pistol, I assume he has the uh, recon kit. I don't know why. He actually got in with the pistol, alright. Knife, the knife, the knife! Ah! Oh. Lex Leogard gonna revive his teammate and gonna try to contest it, but they're running into directly into them. And that was a grave mistake. Now they're gonna charge on the flag itself. Actually, they don't need to now really capping it. Can't they respawn before the flag is down? They did not they did not respawn before the flag is down. That is another GG for the Enforce team. They, they they take another point. Man, what a unfortunate match for um Gachi Posik and Lex Leogard. That was so unfortunate. I really wanted them to hold up, give us a good round. It was still a good round, but it's not as much as I had hoped for. But that is why the actual EVA tournaments are here, folks. Man, that was really unfortunate. Now, Enforce, the Enforce team has to defend flags. We will see if they will get overrun just like Gachi Posik and uh, Lex Leogard did. But first of all, a uh, break from two minutes announced by uh, the judges. <clears throat> so a two minute break. So again, if you're watching, if you're eating, this is the last round. Refill it. Take some more to eat. Take your time. And of course, if you enjoy my company and you want to see more of the actual tournament itself in English with an English commentary, then feel free to follow uh, this uh, this Twitch. I would really appreciate it, and you will get a nice little notification on your screen right now if you do that. If you want to see more of the rest and the actual EVO tournament in its uh, complete state, then by all means follow. Oh, one minute left in the break. <laughs> Gachi Posik really trying with the knife here today, folks, but, you know... <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny. That was quite funny, Lexi oh God. Is, uh, it is only around a uh, 37 in the era. It started uh, 30, 30 minutes ago, I think. Something like that, so, you know, the matches went uh, quite quick. 
command uh, asking people if they want to go has been given. Two players have been answering yes. The match is now live because the command will be given right now. There we go. Of course, we're going to go to the uh, attacker side because we want to see where they are coming from. Ganshi Pussy leading the charge. Both. That is. Um, let me just check a name. That is Square taking the side. He's ready to intercept anyone going over the top. Are they talking to each other? They are probably talking to each other right now. Not sure what to do. Come in, stop has been given. Because Grosser has not spawned in, maybe. But the command stop has been given. Yes, Grosser. What what is up with Grosser? Again, sorry for mispronouncing your name, folks. Grosser has not spawned in. One minute. Break has been given. Because Grosser was uh, absent from the start. And Grosa was lost, yes. Thank you for the intro to die for. Alright, they're good to go. The match will be restarted. Give it a proper restart. So that no one has any advantage. But I assume that they will take the same positions. Because uh, I think they talk to each other. Uh, Lex Leogard and um, Gachi Posik. I think they talked to each other while they were waiting. I think they may have a strategy. But we see Square, I believe, going back on the flank. But that is not what are gonna what are gonna come from. They're gonna come from the middle, just like the just like Square and Grossa did the first time around. But it looks like they had discovered by Grossa having an ex excellent vantage point right here by the overturned by the overturned uh, car. Charging and that was good. Now they have to get in. I do not know why he went out. That was quite stupid. I do not know either why Lex tried to go around. That was a long way to go around. Now he has to wait. He's probably telling his teammate, please go around. But he's coming back. Watch out. Oh no, that is bad. That is bad. That was bad. That was really bad. I feel bad for these guys. I really want them to uh, hold up to the Enforce team. The Enforce team are good people, but I really wanted to see them in action. Gachi Pussy having spawned back uh, with his squad leader. So I'm going to try the side again, but they are expected to come from the side by a square. Square is already awaiting them. They should probably throw a nade and make it bounce off the truck. That is exactly what I'm going to try to do, but unfortunately it was a wrong throw. The second nade, however, was uh, pretty damn close, but still missed. Square putting some amazing uh, accuracy and bringing down Lex Leogard. Now he needs to revive him quick. Charging in the charging square, they're charging him. They don't want to give him enough room to breathe. His square's teammate is charging in square right on the ammo. Got killed. Gachi Pussig, nice kill. He's gonna charge in, getting killed by him, waiting behind a lamppost. Alex Eogard gonna try to shoot him with precision firing. His teammate has respawned. He needs to wait on Gachi Pussig to respawn on him, but it was, uh, it was just a second too late. Just a second too late, and maybe you could have done something. Uh, anyway, keep keep in mind, guys, the timer. The timer is running. They probably only have six minutes left, I think. Six, uh, seven minutes left. So they need to act quick. Again, the same strategy. I don't know. I do not know whether it is a good option. They are all the awaited by Square. And Square is a good shot. He's not going to miss if they poke their heads out. Oh, these nades are close. Miss, but Lexio but gets killed by a nade. It's just got stuck below his feet. 
Fortunately, he gets revived. Oh, uh, that was a sh yeah, that was a headshot. That was literally a headshot by Square. <laughs> that was amazing accuracy. They're gonna like revive though, but they're not doing anything right now. Square is alone. He's holding alone. Oh, his teammate joined him. That's why around maybe Gapsy is gonna try to buy him some time while Lex Leogard goes sneakily around. If he's smart, he can catch Grossa from the back, but he's not gonna be able to, so he's gonna hopefully wait that they don't notice. They're not noticing that the flag is going down. And now they are noticing they're charging. This teammate needs to spawn back on him right now. Catch your pussy, spawn back, please, right now, on your teammate. Unfortunately, he did not manage to spawn back in time. Oh, that is disastrous. Really a disastrous match. But, you know, folks, there is a fourth way. Players can go from this side if they wish to do so. They can go from this side and flank around them. I do not think they actually took this into account. But in my opinion, they should probably try to do that. Anyway, they got spotted by Grosser. Grosa having spotted them. It's gonna try to keep him busy, so it's gonna be 1v1s. Catchy Pussy gonna try to engage Square, throwing, throwing a nade, it missed again. He's really unfortunate with his nades constantly missing. He threw both his nades. Nice shot by Lex Leogard. Nice shot. I think that was a headshot. His teammate's gonna try to rush in and save the flag. Catch your pussy. Now is your moment. Come from behind. Shoot him. Stop. Shoot. Ah, that was very close. They should be able to get him. Ah, he did not look. Ah, he did not look sufficiently. Come on, revive him. He's right here. What are you doing? Quick! There you go. Ah, they got, ah, they got totally uh, killed from both ways. That was a good try, but I think the timer is gonna run out any minute now. I think the time is pretty much up. Ah, oh, that was a violent try. That was nice. They kept one busy, like I said. That's the strategy that works. Keeping one guy busy. But they did not do that. I mean, they did it, but they lacked the proper reflexes to uh, check corners. <laughs> thunderstorm. Yeah, exactly. Groza is a thunderstorm. The Groza are actually throwing nades right now. They're gonna hit! Lexio guard! Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Now he's gonna get Aimed at by uh, Grosser. Uh, also, his team is going to come back in. Oh, they're in a very bad spot. Oh, he tried to pull the shotgun, but it was a little bit too late. And he could not contest against two people. One guy got taken out, so they did not have enough firepower. Poor Alex Leogard and Gachi Posik really uh, being out of luck here today. I'm pretty sure they are good players, but unfortunately today they just met their match and unfortunately they could not do anything. It is really sad to see. That doesn't mean they are bad players. Maybe they are really good in uh, squads, in full squads, but right now in uh, tactical decision making and checking corners, it is really unlucky. Square is staying put on the side in case uh, one of the guys is trying to come from the side. Lex Lugard is gonna pull the sniper rifle for some reason. Trading nades! It was an excellent nade! Excellent nades, but unfortunately, ah, oh, they traded nades! Wow, that was some excellent shooting by uh, Square. Well, that, that nade uh, trade though was quite epic, I must say. I must say, folks, really good action here today, folks, on NT Eva 2018. The match is about to run out any minute now. The timer, the timer, they're almost out. They need to at least cap one flag to have some honor left. Otherwise, it will be a complete and other uh, loss for them. Throwing a nade was way overshot. That second nade, though, hitting the back of the truck, but it was a mere distraction because he put some rounds and then he got shot in the side by uh, Square. 
putting out the sniper rifle, trying to outdo the accuracy of the Krylov, but the Krylov is just simply better. I always say the Krylov is better. I think it is safe to say that the match can end now, because I do not see any way, unless they change the strategy and go this way, that they do not even think about it. But unless they do that, or oh, I don't know if it's in the red zone, if that part is in the red zone, excuse me if it is. But uh, I feel that unless they change the strategy of just running in together. That was a very good nade, actually. Very good nade. They killed Brosa. They used three nades. They only have one nade left together. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe maybe now I'm talking about how they're losing. Maybe now they're going to show me wrong. I dearly hope that they're going to show me wrong. They're going to charge him. Please check. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on, come on. Next, you got to check the corner. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. They need to check the corner. There's always another guy coming in. Coming in. They need to check the corners. That's what they're lacking. That's what I'm seeing right now here, folks, today in this match. That they're not checking properly the corners. That's what they're getting in killed. The lack of reflexes. They're not bad players, but they're getting... Uh, they're shooting one second too late because your enemy team is already shooting at them. And that was just the most unfortunate nade ever. If uh, somebody could please clip that, poor Alexio God took the most unfortunate nade ever in history. Just peeked his head around the corner and immediately took a nade in the face. That's how bad this match is today, folks. That is really unfortunate. The time is up, like I was saying a few minutes ago. And there is a complete and utter victory. Victory for the Enforce team, meaning uh, Grosa and Square getting four points out of four uncontested. There's no way of contesting the points. Uh, they just got all the points. That was really unfortunate. Though we can give a really good get a round of applause for Lex Logard and Gachi Pussy for having tried at least. They gave us the best. They tried some strategies. Some of the strategies they tried worked like on Cam G earlier when they got one flag down. One flag down. But unfortunately, it was not enough. Uh, the lack of reflexes on certain angles is, in my opinion, what got them the loss on today's match. So I'm going to thank you guys dearly for having stayed with me today. Don't worry, guys. Uh, don't forget. Don't forget, guys. Hit the follow button if you want to see more. I hope I've been a good enough host for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.